Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to a new topic, evolution. So, can you see this picture? First thing, when you are when you are seeing this picture, what is is coming in your mind? Just think one second. So we always we will say we came from monkey like animal, right? Like apes. So gradually. by um, hundred of years slowly slowly that change happened and now we can see present human beings so from apes like monkey like organism gradually by different changes we reached into this stage of human beings right so today in this class we will learn about evolution its history and so many other terms so we can define evolution evolution is the gradual change occurring in living organisms over a long duration this is a very slow process which development of organisms is achieved once again i will repeat evolution is the gradual change occurring in living organism over a long duration it will not happen in one or two days it will take hundred of years and this is very slow process through which development of organisms take place so we can define evolution as an any genetic change in a population that is inherited over several generation and it is passed on some scientists believe that life developed in a linear form from simple to complex form like from amoeba gradually complex organism till human being so the charles robert darwin is known as the father of evolution he done a voyage like traveling and observed several species on earth species means group of organism that will breed with each other and he put forward the idea of evolution of species by natural selection he said a species inherited his character from their ancestors So now let's see some of the condition which led leads to the natural selection in evolution. So first one we are seeing about the about the bugs, beetles. Okay, which seen in the plant. See, we usually we will see on the plant. Okay, so that one two species are the red color and green color. Let's see this video. to understand evolution let's look at some examples these are two different beetle populations both these species of beetles usually feed on the leaves of a particular bush we will see which of these beetle populations is an example of evolution the bush gets infested with a disease and the amount of leaf material available to the beetles is reduced so during the course of generations the average weight of the beetles decreases when the plant disease is eliminated the average weight of the beetles returns to normal since the change is not inherited over generations this is not an example of evolution Now look at this sample population of two types of beetles around 90% of the beetles are green and 10% are brown this means 90% have genes that provide the color green and 10% have genes that provide the color brown generations later this is what the sample population looks like Brown beetles make up about 70% of the population. 
these two generations of the same population are genetically different, showing an evolutionary change. Changes in genes of color variation occur and are inherited over generations. So, this is an example of evolution. Next, we have to learn about variations. Variations is the differences among individual of a species caused by genetic and environmental factors. That means that in a group, one member may be little different from others. That is known as the variations. So variations are caused by the genetic or environmental factors. So now let's see this example. Evolution requires genetic variation. Variation is the differences among individuals of a species caused by genetic and environmental factors. Let us discuss this with the same beetle example. A green beetle population turning into brown beetles through an evolutionary change is called a mutation. A mutation is a change in the sequence of nitrogen-based pairs in the DNA. A mutation in the gene for green coloration in green beetles leads to offspring with brown coloration. There may be a situation where some brown beetles join a population of green beetles. This is called migration. Breeding between the brown and green beetles introduces new gene combinations into the population. This movement of genes from brown beetles to green beetles is called gene flow. Let's consider a slightly different situation. A population of green and brown beetles is crawling on the leaves of a bush when a bird appears. Brown beetles are more visible on the bushes than green beetles. So the bird is more likely to feed on them. Green beetles which are likely to survive will bear the responsibility of producing the offspring. They will pass their genes for green coloration onto their offspring. Therefore, the green beetle is better adapted to the environment than the brown beetle. This process in which organisms are best suited to their environment is called natural selection. Now, let's talk about another situation. In a sample of green and brown beetles, several green beetles are killed when a man steps onto the bushes where the beetles are feeding. This results in a greater number of brown beetles in the next generation. So, accidents in small populations can change the frequency of some genes in a population. This genetic variation in small populations caused by an environmental factor is called a genetic drift. Now we are going to see a new topic that is speciation. So what are species? Species are the group of organisms which can interbreed with each other. Okay, suppose one example I will tell human beings. So, the scientific name of human beings is Homo sapiens. Sapien is the specific species name. So, we cannot interbreed with any other species. We can breed with our own species, right? We cannot interbreed with any other species like monkey, uh, donkey and like that. So, we have to breed within our species. So, species means a group of organisms which can interbreed with each other. So now we will see what is speciation. Let's see the video. 
Now we will see what is the definition of speciation. Speciation is a process of evolution that forms a distinct new species. Means first one species will be the due to some reasons like uh, like island something flood came or some other reasons some animals will go to another place and after a few years maybe hundred of years this species will change into another species if this species is coming again back they cannot interbreed that is known as this speciation formation of new species Let's see how the speciation happens. Before that, let's understand what a species is. Take a look at the spiders. Each spider looks different, but they are all able to interbreed. A species is defined as a group of individuals that can interbreed in nature. Thus, we can say that these spiders belong to the same species. Speciation is an event that splits a population into two independent species which cannot reproduce with each other. Let's see a simplified scenario of speciation by geographic isolation. Here is a population of beetles laying their eggs on bananas. If a hurricane strikes the mainland, and the bananas with the beetle eggs on them are washed away to an island. It is called genetic drift. The beetles hatch out of the eggs and mature on the island. Ecological conditions are slightly different on the island as compared to the mainland. This leads to a change in morphology and food preferences in the beetles over the course of generations. In case another storm occurs, the beetles from the island may get washed back to the mainland. However, the beetles will not breed with the mainland beetles any longer since they've evolved different behavioral characteristics by now. The few that do mate with the mainland beetles produce inviable eggs because of the genetic differences between the two populations. The lineage has split now. Genes cannot flow between the populations anymore. This process is referred to as speciation. <laughs>